depopulating, part of what they were doing there, the third world UN sterilization camps in developing countries accelerate. And, U, and UNFPA, all of them, and we got a link to a MIT uh, lecture on this, just admit, they're like, oh yeah, you want food, we're going to sterilize you. And then yuppies go, well, there are too many people. You know, I think you should be for government-run health care because it's racist if you're not, but let's kill the black people. And you're like, but health care is not about black people. It's about government takeover and the insurance companies. I'm not a racist. Yes, you are. Now let's sterilize black people. And I'm like, but you just said I'm right. You want to sterilize them. Well, that's loving. But yeah, but you're also giving them GMO, killing them. That's even more loving. Again, this is all just their psychological warfare propaganda against us. They're organized, we're not. And it just goes through the different lectures, how they've got the sterilizations, how they forcibly pick the people up. They give them shots that then make them have miscarriages. So eat your uh, GMO, folks. That's what's happening here. Also, another article breaking down water securitization. Uh, June 21 on the right of life the right to life, all over the world they're taking over water supplies via governments loaning them money and then saying that people aren't even allowed to collect their own rainwater to then securitize it, put it into derivatives, and then bankrupt it. So it's a total plan to take over the water supply of the planet to control life on this globe, all part of the eugenics agenda 21. Now, let me get to a piece of news that we covered last Friday and we covered yesterday when Aaron Dykes uh, and Mike Adams uh, did InfoWars not only news, did a fabulous job, by the way. Uh, this is out of naturalnews.com, but they have links to courthousenews.com, and we have a copy of the actual lawsuit uh, here where, where whistleblowers, uh, Joel Wolkowski and uh, Stephen Crawling, blew the whistle and, and helped get the info out to those that sued. I mean, you talk about risking their lives, that Merck, the same folks that gave you the uh, Gardasil vaccine that does it protect you from uh, the papillomavirus and kills a lot of people, and causes autoimmune disorders, narcolepsy, you name it. Um, it's been confirmed. Look it up for yourself. They have released the documents uh, that they knew that their mumps, uh, measles uh, vaccine was actually giving people uh, the uh, measles, mumps, and rubella. So it's a measles, mumps, and rubella. We're going to play a clip from Mike Adams last night on that. And they lied and said it had 95% efficacy, that it was working, and spiked the blood test with animal antibodies. The truth was their own documents that have been filed in U.S. court, and we'll show you a shot of that in a moment, their own documents clearly state that it was giving people measles, mumps, and rubella. And I'll show people a document cam uh, shot of that right here. You can go through and read it and read about all of the exhibits and what the whistleblowers are saying there in the lawsuit. So that's the type of stuff that is going on in this country and worldwide. Merck vaccine fraud exposed by two Merck virologists. Company faked measles, uh, mumps vaccine efficiency uh, results for over a decade, says lawsuit. So there you go. Uh, now let's continue uh, here with the news. Here is the courthouse news service report. On all that, Merck has known for a decade that its mumps vaccine is far less effective than it tells the government. And it falsified test results and sold millions of dosages of questionable efficacy, flooded and monopolized the market, a primary caregiver claims in a federal antitrust lawsuit. Claims? These are people that knew their Gardasil shot was killing people in two years of trials. So they went to the biggest whore in America, Mr. Pillow Biter Rick Perry, may he burn in hell forever for what he did, and said, you recommend it put it on the list of, of health department recommended, then say it's the law, commit that fraud, and order people to take it. So everybody lined up and said, the governor said it's the law, I'll be arrested. And it caused seizures, deaths, you name it. And now that destroys political career, but whatever. Uh, selling your soul, I guess, has become an art form. 
Now, let's uh, shift gears here to another report. Drug company GlaxoSmithKline puts America values to shame. That's the Huffington Post. And they go over all the different things they've done with different uh, psychotropic drugs, Paxil, Wellbutrin, uh, and Advair. Uh, it, it gets into the fact that they knew two years ago that their asthma drug with sales of $7.8 billion in 2010 alone, uh, that they flooded the market, did not help asthma, and a huge array of adverse effects, including adrenal insufficiency, worsening of asthma, and death. And they knew that it could make them worse. So your kids got asthma from all the GMO they're eating and everything else and stuff in the market. You know, here's, a, here's, a, here's this drug. They take it, they turn blue, die on the way to the hospital. But hey, it's all part of the fun getting rid of the useless eaters. So there you go. These are the people we trust to run our lives. That's just news the last two, three days. This stuff is just constantly coming out. And again, we're teleprompter free news here. Uh, here's another one. Addictive painkiller Oxycontin being tested on U.S. children. Why? Because the synthetic heroin is about to lose its patent, but if they can get it approved to push on kids, when CPS kidnaps your kid and wants to take them to a rape room, they just give them, that's what they do, they just give them Oxycontin and blast their minds, and, and by saying it's a new treatment for kids, well, then uh, they get decades more of protection on the patent to make money. So that's the type of stuff these demons uh, of literal hell are engaged in. And again, I'm, I'm an extremist who doesn't like it. I'm a bad man. Coming up, they're getting ready to release, without even a permit, genetically modified mosquitoes that have a protein in them that could cause humans to become completely sterile. And they admit the mosquitoes, some of them will survive, and that when a mosquito bites you, it injects its saliva, its DNA into you, like a vaccine, it's why Bill Gates wants them to deliver vaccines, because they inject, you just put a little organism in them, or a nanotech, and then they inject their saliva to liquefy your blood even more, so they can suck it up. And you know what? They don't care if you don't like it. Here come the mosquitoes, like Bill Gates said, after we show you our supreme... In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this segment right now. I'm going to end this segment right now with a royal curtsy directly to the TSA because I know I know you'll enjoy this you won't even get it's a joke you just just there you go that's for the uh, TSA I hope they enjoy their little special DNA injection via via mosquito saliva uh, but first off laws control the lesser man right conduct controls the greater one Mark Twain and that is very, very well said, Mr. Twain. You know, my favorite quote of yours was in the beginning, a patriot's a scarce man, hated, feared, and scorned. But in time, when his cause succeeds, the timid join him, because then it costs nothing to be a patriot. We have not reached that point today, but I do want to give a shout-out to the Washington Times. Can you guys just type uh, Infowars.com or Alex Jones into uh, NSA uh, slash Google News? And it's the editor of the Washington Times actually came out and said that we were right about the police state targeting the American people, that it wasn't just for Al-Qaeda, and that a horrible takeover of authoritarian proportions uh, is happening. And then I saw the big local paper that's on Camp Pendleton in, in California, and it was talking about the new world order and the takeover. So good news, folks. People within the system are waking up. Yeah, that's prudent. The new terrorists, they are all of us. And then it just goes down to the bottom and gives us credit and says, look, it's been the alternative media like Alex Jones at InfoWars.com, PrisonPlanet.com, that's had to report on this. Uh, and, you know, we've basically, uh, you know, have been demonized for it, but, but we've been proven right.